Hi, this is Valerie from Valerie's Handmade Gifts. Thank you for joining me today. Today we are going to make this notebook. Um, and what we're going to do is we're not going to use any glue on it apart from sticking on the letters on the front because we are going to sew the spine with ribbon. Now, I went to a bookbinding class um, a couple of weeks ago and I made these um, smaller ones um, with leatherette and I thought how can I incorporate this using stamping up products so this is what um, what I came up with um, this one um, that I've made is with the Sweet Soiree uh, designer series paper um, but we're going to do this one with the Painted With Love designer series paper. So what we need is um, a piece of designer series paper and we are going to cut it at 23 centimetres by 16 centimetres and then we're going to fold in half at 11 and a half. We also need some a4 just computer paper white paper you can use lined paper if you prefer and um, we're going to cut this at 15 centimeters by 21 centimeters now i've got um five pieces of paper here uh, we are then going to um fold them in half as well now i've just got them clipped together at the top just to keep everything nice and even so we'll just fold them in half just so that we can get the centre line okay I'll put the designer series paper away for the moment now um, to make the holes I have a punch tool um, that you just give it a wee knock with a hammer but you could um, you could just use anything that's got a, a, a sharp end um, just to, to make the hole through the spine um, I find it easier if I'm using a bit of cork underneath and then at least it doesn't go through um, all my grid paper now um, we need to find um, the middle so all that I do is I just fold it in half like this and then make a little mark where the two lines crossed and then what we're going to do is we are going to measure four and a half centimeters up from this mark that's here and then we're going to measure four and a half centimeters down and just make a mark okay so we're then going to um, take our punch tool and we're just going to put it on the mark and we're just going to give it a little knock like that and the same with this one and the last one there we go and then I just like to go back through it from the other end like that okay we're then going to take our designer series paper put this on the centre line and then we're just going to go through that using the original holes as our guide there we go now, We'll just put that to the side at the moment. Uh, 
Um, the ribbon that I am going to use is um, the sheer ribbon and it is in the colour of Fresh Fig. So we're just going to cut a piece off. And using any needle that has a large opening at the top, I think this one's a darning needle, and we're just going to pop that through, move the cork board, and come back with our two bits. And we're going to start going in from the back. So we're going to go in from the back through the designer series paper and through the copy paper. And we're going to leave a tail at the back so that we can tie a bow. And then um, from the middle, we're going to go up to the top and we're going to try and keep the ribbon straight, which is a little bit tricky. So we're going to go through like that, turn it over. We're going to go back through the middle and we're going to go to the top. There we go, like that. So one of them's gone a bit wonky. So we'll just try and twist around. Unthread your needle and then we're just going to tie a bow. Now, if you wanted to put more holes and more ribbon design, that would be absolutely fine. It's entirely up to yourself. Um, I suppose it depends on how much paper you actually have in, but um, that holds absolutely perfectly. So we'll just take these clips off. And then what I've done is I have used the um, silver glimmer paper or you could use the, the Dazzling Diamonds, that would look lovely as well. And we are going to put these on the front of the book. Now I used for the letters, the, um, the letters for you and the large framelit letters. Now um, I've taken... So you can buy these both separately. Um, you can buy the framelits separately and also these are the, the stamps from the Letters For You set. Um, you can find all of these at my shop, uh, valerieshandmadegifts.co.uk. There's a direct link onto my Stamping Up site there and also uh, there's a link if you would like to join my Stamping Up team. Um, okay, so let's get on with putting these letters on. So we're just going to use the um, mini glue dots. I find that's the easiest. And we'll just put a couple on the edges. Like that. To the O. Thank you. 
I think these would make lovely gifts. They're just they're a, a nice enough size just to pop in your bag, either just for writing down notes or for doing lists. You could personalise them, you could do it in somebody's name. And then just, yes. There we go. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Um, if you did, please um, subscribe and uh, click the thumbs up. See you soon. Bye.